I know. Going to church does not save you, young man. You need a relationship with God. Jesus Christ said in John 17, 3, He said, This is salvation, that they should know you, Father, the one true God, and the one that you sent, Jesus Christ. That is salvation. Do you know Jesus Christ? Do you know God? It comes by revelation through the Holy Spirit, folks. It's not your religion. It's not because you're a Protestant or a Catholic or some other cult thing, Jehovah Witness or Mormon. It's through it's through the Holy Spirit of God. Jesus Christ did not come to the planet to start and found Catholicism. Jesus Christ said, unless you're born again, you will not enter the kingdom of God. It has nothing to do with your religious system. Check it out, man. It has nothing to do with your religious system. It doesn't matter what your, your theology or doctrine is. The Bible even says that there are doctrines of devils. Folks, you have to be born from above. You need the Spirit of God to come and quicken your dead soul. stuff man pray about that you see we need a revelation from god our religious systems mean nothing you can go to church seven days a week you can memorize the entire bible it does not justify you before god consider the thief on the cross we all know the thief on the cross crucified next to our lord and savior before he died he did not go and do a bunch of good things he didn't attend any church service no, the thief on the cross, he didn't do a bunch of good stuff. He, he, he simply received the grace and mercy that's found through Jesus Christ. You need Jesus Christ. It's your only hope. You're not going to stand before God on Judgment Day and say that you went to church. And if that makes you a good Christian. This is the deception most people, they, they live in in our country today. We say we're a Christian nation. You tell me we're a Christian nation? What, what, where in the Bible does God tell us to go and kill 67 million babies? We have, we have two, two clinics in this, in this very city where you can go and murder your baby. And, and our Supreme Court, our lawmakers say that that is lawful. They say that is acceptable. It's wicked. It's evil. Isn't it? It is evil. But we say, oh, we're a Christian nation. I'm good. American Pie, U.S. Army, NFL, right? Judge for yourselves. You, you, you think that we're a Christian nation? What is Christian about having sodomites parade through our streets and teach our kids about sodomy and, and letting our, our kids, they're fighting now to let children decide if they can mutilate their sexual organs, their bodies, and, call them, and have little boys call themselves little girls and have little girls call themselves little boys and had hormone therapy. This is evil. It is an abomination to God. There's nothing Christian about the United States anymore. As a matter of fact, it's the Christians, the real Christians in this country, those who are sold out for Jesus Christ, who deny themselves, pick up their cross, and come after Him every day. Those are the people who are persecuted. Now, the Bible even warns that this is going to happen. If you read and, and Matthew 24 and Luke 21, Mark 13, read 2 Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians, the book of Revelation, uh, 2 Timothy, all these things are, have been prophesied in the scripture that in the last days, in the last days, man, you're going to see wars, you're going to see rumors of wars, you're going to see all these strange diseases coming around. You know, we all look at that and we say, oh, well, this has been going on forever. Ah, oh, that's been going on, man. We see 
we see the great falling away, the great falling away, the great apostasy in the church, where most of the professing Christians now have a have a, a lesbian as their pastor, or, or a homosexual as their pastor, and they say that 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 God just loves you no matter what, and they reject God's word that says that warns us that people that practice sodomy, homosexuality, drunkenness, lying, that, that practice sin. They shall not inherit the kingdom of God. They, but people reject this. There is a great falling away that you're seeing take place right now. Jesus says, do not forbid the little children coming to him. The parents, the parents today, they don't want their kids to know about God. They don't want their kids to know about Jesus Christ. They don't want their kids to imitate godliness. And they wonder, why, why are kids shooting up schools and... Why, why is my child out of control, stealing, rebellious, angry, depressed, a mess? Because we have rejected God. Our nation has rejected God. And we, we say, God bless America, but God, God does not give us a thumbs up, ma'am. God is a is the, the enemy of our country now because our country has departed from the living God. Our country has the blood of 67 million dead babies on its hands and counting. Every day, every day hundreds, sometimes thousands of babies in our country are murdered on the altar. They are murdered, sacrificed on the altar of lifestyle and convenience. Young women go to the abortion death camps, these Planned Parenthoods, among others, and they let someone rip their baby apart. The mother who is supposed to be the primary caregiver for their child in the womb. They take their child and lay it on the, on the altar of lifestyle and convenience. God bless you. Thank you for the encouragement. And we say, we say, God bless America. Do you know that Israel, Israel was sacrificing their children before the final judgment came down and they were sent into exile? Israel was murdering its own babies, sacrificing their own babies in the, in the field of Gehenna. That means drums. See, they would play the drums in the field where they were sacrificing the babies to cover up the sound of the babies being murdered. It's evil. Now we just build these, these center block buildings and the women go inside and with surgical precision. They have their child chopped up into little pieces. And then Planned Parenthood takes that, those baby parts. They got to take them out and set them on a tray next to it because they got to count the baby parts because you can't leave a dead baby part inside a, a woman's womb because it causes an infection. It could kill the woman. They take these parts and then they gather them together and then they sell them. There's companies, businesses that buy these baby parts. And we say, God bless America. Consider this, folks. I know it's an ugly subject, but hey, it's true. 